Before you have your seats, uh, turn your Bible in the book of uh, 2 Kings, chapter 6. 2 Kings, chapter 6. Verse 1. And the sons of the prophets said unto Elisha, Behold now the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan, and take thence every man a beam, and let us make a place there where ye may dwell, where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. And he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was felling a beam, the axe had fell into the water. And he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he showed him the place, and he cut down a stick and cast it in, uh, and cast it in theater, and the iron did swim. Therefore said he, Take it up to thee. And he put out his hand and took it. Tayo isang daling manalangin sa Panginoon. Uh, Lord Jesus, we know, Lord, that Thou art the author of this book. And we just pray, Father, Lord, for inspiration from Your Holy Spirit to anoint Your Word. And, Lord, that may You bring things, Lord, from this little story, Lord, that we have just read. May You bless Your children, even our unseen audience, Lord. May You bless them uh, wherever they are. And uh, may your word minister a blessing to your people. This we pray in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. You may have your seats. God bless you. Uh, I will not be here too long because uh, after this service, I will uh, tayo ng funeral service ni, uh, uh, para kay Brother Dado. Uh, and I will also minister doon sa funeral service. So, sa mga gustong sumama, ay, uh, kung hindi nyo alam yung lugar, sumunod na lang kayo sa amin. Uh, si Bada Emer, alam niya yung lugar, pwede tayo i-guide ni Bada Emer. So, I'll try my best to be short uh, para hindi tayo gabihin doon sa funeral service. Pagkat last day po ngayon, Bukas po ang libing. So I'd like uh, to preach on the message entitled The Restoration of the Axe Head. The Restoration of the Axe Head. I believe that uh, we have read this story before. So uh, the story is, uh, uh, is seven uh, verses in chapter 6 of uh, Second Kings. And I believe na lahat ng kwento na nailagay sa Bible ay merong purpose because every scripture is given by inspiration of God. Profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction. And uh, hindi ilalagay itong kwentong ito. The Lord will not let this story consume my space in the Bible if it's not important. It may be a little story, but in this story, we should always see Jesus. Because we know that Jesus is the central theme of the Bible. So whenever you're reading something and you don't see Jesus, you have to get back. Because you're missing something. So, uh, this is a story in the time of Elisha. And uh, if you read... As we have read the story, nakikita natin that the story is about restoration. Okay. They had something, and that something was lost, and it was restored back. 
So it's showing us a restoration. And it takes a man with the spirit of Elijah to restore back which was lost. And this is uh, what we want to look into. Pagkat alam natin that there are five comings of Elijah. And the same uh, spirit that was in Elijah is also in Elisha. So, nakita natin dito that the sons of the prophets told Elisha, Behold, now the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. The word straight there is small. So, yung ating uh, fellowship area ay maliit na. Okay. So, uh, they want to build a bigger one. So, they are on a building project. So, sabi dyan, let us go, we pray thee unto Jordan, and take thence every man a beam, and let us make us a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, go ye. And one said, be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So, pumunta sila doon uh, sa Jordan, pagka by the Jordan, napakarami mga woods doon na they would cut to make a beam or uh, to get some beams that they will use for their building project. At sabi sa verse 4, and so, went with, and so he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water. And he, and he cried and said, Alas, Master, for it was borrowed. I'd like you to catch this, you know? So they went to Jordan to cut trees. Okay. At nakita natin that there is something they are using to build this house. Okay. It was not their own, but it was given to them to use. So they are using the axe to cut down wood. Pero sabi nito, habang uh, sila'y nagkakat ng wood, habang yung isa'y nagkakat ng wood, I could imagine nag-alternate sila, no? Because they just have one axe. Okay? Ang sabi nito, the axe had fell into the water. So, yung axe head, nahulog doon sa river, sa Jordan River, so, what they have is only the handle. Now, the axe head represents something. Because the axe head, ito yung ginagamit para makaputol ng puno. If you just have the handle, you would struggle. Kahit anong gawin mo, hindi babagsak yung puno. Okay? You need the axe head. Because the axe head symbolizes the power for service. That is the cutting edge the cutting edge of power, the effectiveness, na kahit anong palo mo doon sa punong kahoy, without the axe, hindi bubuwal yun. Hindi mapuputol yun. Okay. So, they need that axe head. But it fell down. Nahulog yun. Okay. And uh, if you would see in the history of the church, Alam natin, in the book of Acts, they had something that the Lord has given them. Diba? And they are using this to accomplish something in the kingdom of God. To build the house of God. And without this axe head, which is the power of the Holy Spirit, they couldn't accomplish something. Pero nakita natin sa early church, they are not trying to work in the energy of the flesh, but they are trying to work through the leadership of the Holy Spirit. We know that it was the angel of the Lord that is guiding the apostles. And they are accomplishing great things in the kingdom of God not because of their own ability but because of the angel of the Lord. 
Because of the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why they were able to write the book of Acts. Acts has chapter 28 or has 28 chapters. What is the book of Acts that is the Acts of the Holy Spirit through the apostles? But there's something that they had in the early church that was lost. That cutting edge. That power for service. Nang nawanahulog yung axe head, hindi pwedeng sabihin nila, okay lang, meron pa naman tayong handle. <laughs> meron pa naman tayong axe handle, gagamitin natin ito para uh, to accomplish Okay. What we desire to accomplish, pero they would just struggle using the axe, uh, axe handle. Why? Because they need the axe head to build a house. Are you catching that? And God was building a house, His church throughout the seven church ages. And we could see the manifestation of the power of God in the book of Acts. Pagkat sinabi ko sa inyo, Acts head represents the power for service. Hindi pwedeng sabihin ng isa, okay lang na nawala yun because we did not lose, any, uh, lose everything. We still have the handle here. Oh, we still believe in grace. We still come to church. We still believe in prayer. But they lost the great part of what they had. Because of this axe head, many great acts were done by the apostles. Pero alam natin ang nangyari sa Nicaea, Rome. They lost something too. So when they started in the book of Acts, they started with the power for service. Alam natin bumuhos ang Espiritu Santo ng Panginoon and God tabernacled Himself and God is building a house, a habitation for His Spirit. And there is a power they were working with. They weren't working in the energy of the flesh, but they were working in the power of the Spirit. In other words, the axe head was present, which is the power for service. And whenever they swing that axe, mga batid, you could see chips flying away. Why? Because it is cutting down something. They were cutting tree after tree after tree after tree. At may mga tao, that they know how to use the axe. Amen. They know how to swing that axe. There's a man like Peter who know how to use the axe. A man named Philip is a man who knows how to use the axe. Stephen is a man who knows how to use the axe. Paul is a man who knows to use the axe. At may mga tao na gustong gamitin yung axe but they don't know how to swing the axe. Nandiya si Hymenius at Philetus. <laughs> Whenever they swing the axe, they don't know how to swing the axe and it's causing damage to the axe. At nakita natin, meron silang tool na ginagamit to accomplish the purpose. And they also have unity amongst them. They were all united. When they had this vision to build a house, walang kumontra sa kanila. Everyone was in agreement. Everyone was united. Everyone was willing to participate in the work of God. They don't want to be a spectator, but they want to be a participator. They want to, be, to, they want to get involved in the ministry. They want to get involved in the work of God. Amen. They were so united. Kaya nakita natin when the church started, it was a unified church. 
It was a church in union with the Spirit. And the angel of the Lord was directing them. them. So, hindi sila nagdepende sa kanilang sarili to evangelize the world. No, the Bible said that the angel of the Lord directed them for service. Sinasabi ng Panginoon kay Paul were to lay the axe. God would speak to Peter were to lay the axe. Sabi niya, go to, the, to Cornelius' house and lay the axe. You go to that gentle forest okay, and let every log fall. The Lord, the angel of the Lord let Philip when he went to Samaria, it caused a great revival. Many were converted. Many were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pero may mga tao, they don't know, know how to use the axe. Amen. They are doing a wild swing. Kaya, whenever they use the axe, they are injecting their own ideas and things. Now, napamunta sila doon sa Jordan and they were cutting. Hindi lang sila basta-basta pumuputol doon. No, they were not cutting bushes. Okay? They are choosing choice timber. Pagkat nang nagpunta sila doon, meron silang vision kung ano ang kanilang ibibuild. At alam nila kung anong materials ang kinang kinakailangan. Kung anong kahoy na kanilang kinakailangan. So, hindi lang sila basta-basta pumuputol. No. Amen. Alam nila kung ano ang kanilang puputulin. Maral yung isa, sir. Habang pinuputol na yung isang puno kayo, sabi niya, oh, ito para sa poste. O, kailangan natin ng anim na poste. O, pinuputol niya ito. O, ito gagamitin natin sa rafter. Ito yung gagamitin natin sa wall. So, they were cutting with a purpose, with a vision. So, they were cutting with an insight. Hindi palaran mahabatin. Alam nila, meron silang vision. And they know what they want to accomplish. Because they are building a house. Now, so they are not wasting anything. They know what to cut. They were being led by the Spirit of God. Kaya nga sabi sa book of Acts, the Lord was adding such that would be saved. You could see the direction of the Holy Spirit. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, you may have a gift, but without the axe head, without the leadership of the Holy Spirit, without the anointing, everything would be in vain. Kaya sa book of Acts, nakita natin the leadership of the Holy Spirit. That's why you could see their ministry was effective. Hindi sila nagsasayang ng oras. Their labor was not in vain. Why? Pagkat mga batid, they are using the full axe. Ang hawak ni Paul ay hindi axe handle lang, no? Nandoon yung axe head. When he was about to go to Asia, sabi ng Holy Spirit, not now, because you've got to go to Macedonia. Then Paul has to go to Macedonia. Amen. At nang pumunta siya sa Macedonia, a certain place doon called Philippi. Amen. Nandoon, na-convert si na Lydia, yung Philippian jailer. Why? Because they are directed by God for service. There is power for service. There is leadership for service. Na pinapapunta ng Panginoon, si, si, si Peter, sa mga Gentiles, ayaw ni Peter. Sabi niya, they are unclean. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, huwag mong tawagin unclean yung bagay na nilinisan ko na. And you could see when Peter went to the Cornelius to Cornelius house ang sabi sa Bible when Peter yet spake the power the Holy Spirit came down and baptized Cornelius and his household They have power for service they have the anointing that they need for service They have the leadership of the Holy Ghost Something was given to them but when that thing was lost, 
It brought despair. Now, they had something. You know, man failed to realize that God gave them to start what, what God gave them to start the work with is what they need to finish the work with. Why not then? What is in the beginning must be in the end. At alam natin at Nicaea, they lost the revelation of the God and water baptism. And they end up with just the mechanics. So before the work would be accomplished, the original power they had was lost. And they, and I, they ended up with just little mechanics. Now just think of it. What can you accomplish with an axe handle? You would just struggle. Wala ka mahuputol. Pagkat ang kailangan natin, hindi lang axe handle. We need axe handle plus. Amen. Amen. Plus the axe head. So nawala. Nahulo yung axe head. It fell into the river. It fell into the water. And what was lost, it takes a man with the spirit of Elijah to bring back what was lost. Alam natin way back in the Garden of Eden, Adam, Adam had something that was lost. And way back at the beginning of the church, they had something that was lost. But which was lost is to be restored back at the end time. But it takes a man with the spirit of Elijah to restore back which was lost. Amen. I'd like to read a quote here from the prophet. And anyway, this is just a, a one quote. Let me just read here. I think this one. Let's read this. What's up here? The feast of trumpets. Because you could see here. The axe head fell into the river. Okay. What they had that made their ministry effective or what they are doing prosper or effective is because of the axe head. But that axe head fell into the river. Now look at what the prophet said here in the message, the Feast of Trumpets. Sabi niya, the Holy Spirit has been bound by these denominational rivers for almost 2,000 years. <laughs> now the Holy Spirit is the axe head. Are you catching that? You could see the book of Acts is the leadership of the Holy Ghost. That's the axe of the Holy Spirit through the apostles. Pero nangyari, ang sabi ni Barbara, the Holy Spirit had been bound by these denominational rivers. The axe head fell into these denominational rivers. Anong ibig sabihin, mga kapatid? The Holy Ghost was bound. Why? Pagkat the original truth was perverted. They started to accept creeds and dogmas of men. And what happened? Because of that, the Holy Ghost was bound, sabi ng prophet, for almost 2,000 years. It was bound in denominational rivers. Anong ibig sabihin ng bound? Hindi literal, don't think about literal being bound. Ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, if, if, some, if somebody is bound, you could not freely move. Are you catching that? When the truth was lost, the Holy Spirit was bound. Why? Because God, the Holy Spirit, could not fully move. Why? Because of the ignorance of the people. Diba? Ibig sabihin, the Holy Spirit could not move in its full 
power and capacity because of the ignorance of the people, because of lack of revelation. Could you imagine even in the time of Luther, he was the star messenger of that age. Pero nakita natin, he was baptizing in titles, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And he even uh, took yung baptism sa Catholic, which is by sprinkling. Luther even thought that there are three persons in the Godhead. Nakuha natin? Mali yung kanyang baptism, mali yung kanyang Godhead. That's why Luther and Wesley, they don't have the original power of the Holy Ghost. What would restore, amen, the, the original power of the Holy Ghost as it was in the book of Acts is a man with the spirit of Elijah. Nang ibig sabihin, yung Holy Ghost was bound even in the time of Luther, hindi siya fully makakilos because of lack of revelation. Even Luther was thinking Adam and Eve ate an apple. Diba? Kaya hindi fully makabagbuba ang spirit because of lack of revelation. Kaya sabi ni Brother Branham, God wink at their ignorance. Alam niyo mga kapatid, ang magbibigay kalayaan para tuluyang makakilos ang Espiritu Santo ay ma-restore ang full word. It takes a man with a ministry of restoration to lose the Holy Ghost. Kaya sabi ni Brother Branham dito, the Holy Spirit has been bound by these denominational rivers. Could you imagine in the time of Luther, how can how can God speak through prophets or speaking tongues and things like that if they don't even know it? And if they didn't even believe such a thing exists? Do you see that? That's why the Spirit could not move. In its uh, full power, the Holy Spirit has been bound by these denominational rivers for almost 2,000 years. But it is to be loose in the evening time by the evening time message that Holy Spirit that was bound in the denominational rivers uh, sabi na prophet it was bound for almost 2,000 years but is to be loose in the evening time because at the evening time God would send Elijah amen a man with the spirit of Elijah with an evening time message that will bring forth the full word to lose the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost could freely move now because, amen, the Lord has sent Elijah, amen, with the evening time message. Amen. Kaya ang Holy Ghost, malaya siyang makakilos ngayon. Why? Pagkat mga kapat, hindi tayo ignorante. Amen. We know the plan of Jesus Christ. We know the full program of God. The fullness of the Holy Ghost can freely move among the church of the living God. Kaya mga kapatid sa iglesia na ito, the Holy Ghost is not bound because we have the full revelation. Because the Lord has sent a man with the spirit of Elijah to bring this restoration. That's why the Holy Ghost was loose in the church of the living God. Kaya tuluyan siyang nakakakilos pagkat hindi tayo ignorante. Amen. The full word has been opened. The seven seals have been opened. So that's what, that's the problem. The Holy Ghost could not bound. A man that is bound, limited lang yung kanyang movement because he was bound. Do you see that? Pero ngayon mga kapatid, Amen, malaya ang Espiritu Santo. Amen. And whenever the Holy Ghost moves, we could identify the move of the Spirit. Amen, because we are taught by the prophet of this age. 
the evening time message came. Kaya sabi ng prophet, the Holy Spirit back in the church again. Christ himself revealed in human flesh. In the evening time, he said, he promised it. God would no longer wink at the ignorance. Why? Because the full word has come. We are not living in the days of reformation. We are living in the days of the restoration. This is the age of the restoration. At sabi sa verse 5, But as one man, as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water. It fell on the Jordan River. And he cried and said, Alas, Master, for it was borrowed. What is the first step to restoration? It's confession. Alam nila na meron silang, na merong uh, dating taglay ang iglesia na nawala. Why? Pagkat alam nyo, this ministry of Elijah is to bring us back to the faith of our fathers. Pagkat doon sa faith ng ating fathers, you could see oneness. You could see the unity. The, you could see signs and wonders following them. You could see the leadership of the angel of God directing them for service. The Holy Ghost could work in full capacity. Pagkat what they have is the pure and adulterated word of God. Pero nangyari dito, Alas, Master, for it was borrowed. For it was borrowed. So he, he has to confess that something was lost. And the man of God said, War fell it. And he showed him the place. And here comes a man with the spirit of Elijah. Elijah. Anong sabi niya? Nasaan nahulog? When you have something in your life na dating taglay mo at nawala yun, just get back to the place where it fell. Balikan mo yung lugar na yun. At sabi dyan, and he showed him the place and he cut down a stick and cast it in theater, and the iron did swim. Could you imagine the iron would swim? Ano yun? Anong ginawa ni Elisha? He cut down a stick. That a stick that was cut is the mystery of Christ. He was the tree that was cut. Why not then? Why? Because. In our age, there is a man with the spirit of Elijah who brought us back to the true atonement. Sa panahon ni Luther, they don't have the perfect lamb. Marami sa kanila pariniwala ay mali. Because hindi pa panahon yun ang full restoration. But when Mother Burnham, Amen, Amen, was said in this generation, he had the mystery of the full atonement. A lamb without blemish, not just a part of the lamb, but the fullness of the lamb. He has the fullness of the word. Now, sabi niya, he cut down a stick and cast it here. Now, paano nalaman ni Elisha ang kanyang gagawin? Now, of course, Elisha is a prophet. <laughs> you know, prophets see things by vision. They are instructed to do things by vision. Just like Jesus Christ sabi niya, okay, <laughs> wala akong ginagawa kundi yung ipinakita sa akin ng Ama. Natin? 
At ano yung pinapakita sa kanya, Ama? Through vision. At si Elisha, hindi lang kung ano na, kung ano nga, naisip niya, puputol ako ng istikpat. Hindi mga kapatid, they were instructed by God, by vision. Elijah saw the solution by vision. Nagawa natin. Why? Pagkat ang ibibigay ng Panginoon na solution for restoration is something that would reveal the mystery of Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the principal theme in the Bible. So that was cut. Okay? At ano yun mga kapatid nang nilagay doon sa river? Anong nangyari? Yung nawala, it was restored. At sabi sa verse 7, Therefore said he, take it up to thee. And he put out his hand and took it. Brothers and sisters, the same original power that was at Pentecost in the book of Acts was displayed by the prophet. Amen. Amen. What was lost is to be restored back at the end time. Are you catching that? Now, so ni restore yung bagay na nawala. What was lost has been restored. At nang na-restore yung mga they could continue and finish the work of God. Why? Pagkat nandun na yung axe head. Kung wala yung axe head, hindi mo mapuputol yung punong kahoy. Hindi mo pwedeng tapusin yung dapat mong tapusin. Now look at that. I'm showing it to you in a, in a church dispensation. But remember also, sa ating buhay, we need the accent. Diba? You don't just want to have a ministry, you want your ministry to be effective. You want a ministry that would touch people. You want a ministry that would be a blessing to others. And if you are just working through the energy of the flesh, you couldn't accomplish that. You need the anointing of the Spirit of God. You need the leadership of the angel of the Lord. Or else your, all your efforts would be in vain. Nagsasayang ka lang ng oras, nagsasayang ka lang ng pagod, mga kapatid. You want when you do something, mga kapatid, na sigurado ka na ang hawak mo, hindi lang axe handle. Pagkat kung mechanics ka lang, amen, kahit anong hampas mo, nag struggle ka, hirap na hirap ka, amen, hindi ka nagiging successful sa ginagawa mo, pagkat ang hawak mo ay axe handle. Pero pag sinasabi ko, if you have the anointing of the Spirit, if you have the power for service, sinasabi ko sa inyo, amen, you could do great things in the kingdom of God. You will be a blessing to your family. You will be a blessing to the church. You will be a blessing to your people. You are not just ministering, but your ministry is a blessing. Why? Pagkat nandoon yung cutting edge, your ministry is led by the Spirit of God. Look at Samson. At the first part of his ministry, nandoon yung cutting edge sa buhay niya. Because he was born to deliver the Israelites, amen, from the Philistines. Ayun yung sinabi ng angel of the Lord doon sa asawa ni Manoah. Na ikaw yung mga kanak na lalaki, Nazarite from the womb. And that child would deliver Israelites out of the hands of the Philistines. May purpose ang Panginoon. At ito si Samson, he was a Nazarite from the womb. He kept that Nazarite. He was guarding his Nazarite, Nazarite sheep. At nakita natin, very effective. Could you imagine, nang inatake siya ng 1,000 Philistines, he could kill that 1,000 Philistines just with a jawbone. Could you imagine how could a jawbone kill 1,000 Philistines? Nagagamitin niya to smash their metal helmet, iron helmet, to smash those people. Huwag niyo imagine na nakikipaglaban si Samson, nakapila yung 1,000 at isa-isa. No! Inaatake siya at all sides. Pero because... 
the Spirit of the Lord was upon Samson. Kahit marami siyang kaaway, nagapi niya lahat ng kanyang kaaway because the Spirit of God was there. The axe head was there. But what happened when he, could, when he started to compromise with Delilah? What happened when he broke his Nazarite ship? Nang nireveal niya kay Delilah, the very source of his strength. Huwag niyo siyang isipin na si Samson ay isang uh, ay parang uh, incredible hawk na malaki ang katawan. No! Baka kasing payat ko lang si Samson. Kasi kung si Samson inibig, tulad ng din drawing sa mga magazine ng lalaki ng katawan, ng lalaki ng muscles, bakit, bakit tatanungin siya ni, 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 ni Delilah, let me know. <laughs> The secret of your strength. Eh, kung obvious na. Hindi ba, kapatid? The secret of his strength, this Samson, is the Spirit of God. Not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit, saith the Lord. At ito si Samson, he started to compromise. At ano, Amen. Nang uh, naputo lang kanya ang seven locks ng kanyang hair at ginisi sa ni Delilah, gising ka. Nandiyan na mga Philistines, bumangon si Samson. Sabi niya, akala niya, nandoon pa yung accent, but the accent already fell. At anong ginawa sa kanya, inaresto siya. He looks very ordinary. He, he just become like a common person na hinuli nila na walang kalakasan. Na sinasabi ko sa inyo, the effectiveness of our ministry is not because of our ability. The effectiveness of our ministry is not because of our education. The effectiveness of our ministry is by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. But Samson lost that anointing. Why? Because he started to compromise. He started to break his Nazarite ship. Mga kapatid, don't, don't, don't compromise with sin. Amen. Gusto natin, mga kapatid, lumakad tayo sa katuwiran ng Panginoon. Lumakad tayo sa kalooban ng Panginoon. Pagkat habang tayo lumalakad sa kalooban ng Panginoon, I believe, amen, all our labor will not be in vain because you have the leadership of the angel of the Lord. You are not grieving the Holy Spirit. You are not quenching the Holy Spirit because you are walking, uh, amen, under the leadership of the Holy Ghost in your life. But a lot of people, at first, they have this cutting edge. Nabibless ka sa kanila. Kapag sila umawit, for example, dahil ayun ang gift nila, you could feel the anointing was present. You are not just hearing a good voice. You feel the anointing. But maybe something happened along the way. They lost the cutting edge. Pero mga kapatid, sinasabi ko sa inyo, whatever is lost, there is a way to restore it back. There is a way to restore it back. Tulad ni Samson, he was so desperate. Sabi niya, Lord, just once more. Ang sabi ng prophet, Samson realized that there is a possibility of the return of that dynamic power na nawala sa kanyang buhay. Pero alam niya, there is a price to pay to return back that dynamic power in his own life. But he was willing to pay the price. Alam niya, it will take his death. Pero sabi niya, Lord, let me die with these Philistines. Ibig sabihin, he was willing to pay the price. At, at sabi niya, Lord, just once more. At mga kapatid, yung power na nawala. Nang nawala yung power, inalipin siya, pinahirapan siya. He was maltreated, tinawanan siya. Yung mga Philistines, pinagtatawanan siya. Kapag naririnig yung kanyang pangalan, hindi natatakot yung mga Pilistino. But you know what? When that dynamic power was upon Samson, when that accent was upon Samson, marinig lamang nila ang pangalan ni Samson. Nanginginig na yung mga Pilistino because they know the power that was in Samson. Pero nang nawala, 
yung anointing na yun, na wala yung takot ng kanyang mga kalaban, pinagtatawanan siya. Mga kapatid, don't let the devil laugh at you. Amen. Alam ng demonyo, if the dynamic power is in your life, those devil will tremble. They know the power that is in your life. In your consecrated, sanctified life, alam nila, your, the anointing is there. Amen. Ang mga demons, they will tremble whenever they hear you. They hear your name. Pagkat alam nila, you are anointed by God. Hallelujah. Amen. At kapag kayo gumagawa para sa Panginoon, you are guided by the angel of the Lord. Amen. You are not working for the energy of the flesh. The leadership of the Holy Spirit ay nandun. Kaya, your ministry is successful. Your life is a blessing to others. Why? Because the cutting edge is present in your life. At mga kapatid, sinasabi ko sa inyo, ganun ang nais natin sa ating buhay. If you think there's something in your life na nawala, ask God to return it back. Lord, return it back. Maybe there's something in your life when you started your Christian life, nandun ang joy sa iyo. Na kahit anong problema, anong pagsubok na hinaharap mo, masaya ka pa rin na naglilingkod sa Panginoon. But maybe, you have given in to the influence of those devils of the world, then you lost that joy. But sinasabi ko sa inyo, that joy could come back. That joy could be restored back. Naalala nyo, doon sa Ephesian Church Age, Sabi ni Jesus, I know thy works. I know this about you and that. But sabi niya, but I have somewhat against you. You have lost your first love. Ibig sabihin, meron silang taglay dati na nawala. They have lost their first love. Ang isang kristyano na nawala yung kanyang first love, hindi ibig sabihin, hindi na nagsisimba ang maray, nagsisimba pa. Diba? Umatin pa rin ng service, umatin pa rin ng prayer meeting, but not with the same passion. Amen. That he has nang nandun yung kanyang first love. Naibig sabihin, merong hinahanap ang Panginoon kung merong nawala sa atin. Nawala yung kanilang first love. At anong sabi ni Jesus Christ? Remember where thou hast fallen. Tulad ni Elisha, sabi niya, where did the axe fall? Get back to that place. The very place you lost that, that love. The very place you lost that joy. You get back to that place. Remember where thou hast fallen. Ano bang nangyari? Dati-dati meron naman yan. Masyado ka na bang naging busy sa buhay mo, sa mga bagay na material na wala ka ng panahon sa Panginoon? Marahil na di-focus ka sa mga bagay-bagay at ang Diyos ay hindi mo na first priority. Remember where thou hast fallen at sabi, and repent. Repent is an acknowledgement. Pagkat hindi mo mabagong isang bagay hanggat hindi mo ma-admit na ikaw'y nagkamali. Amen. Kaya kung alam mo merong nawala sa iyo, magsisisi ka sa Panginoon. Panginoon. Hey man, nakita ko ang pagkukulang ko sa bagay na ito. Dito ako nagkulang. Kaya nawala yung kasiyahan ko. Itong kapayapaan ko. Gulong-gulo ako, Panginoon. Pagkat dito sa bagay na ito, dito ako nagkulang, Panginoon. Nagsisisi ako, Lord. Repent. At anong sabi na? Do the first works. Balikan mo yung dati mong ginagawa. Marahal gumigisi ka ng umaga. Ah, para manalangin. You don't want to miss a service. Kaya nandun yung first love mo sa Panginoon. Gawin mo muli yung mga bagay na yun. Balikan mo muli yung mga bagay na yun. At sinasabi ko, ano man nawala, ipabalik ng Panginoon sa iyo. But you've got to acknowledge. Panginoon, anong nawala? Anong nawala, Panginoon? Whatever what was lost would be restored back. And the only thing that can restore it back is the stick that was cut. I could not restore it back. 
the deacons could not restore it back. Only Christ can restore it back. It is Christ. It is Christ. I love that accent. Kahit sa aking sarili, in my own ministry, if I lose that accent, brothers and sisters, I would struggle in the ministry. I would try to work out of my human ability, man, my man-made education. Do lang. Pero mga kapatid, I know the difference. Amen. When you are working by the power of the Holy Spirit. Would you like your life to be guided by God? Would you like the guidance of the angel of the Lord? Would you like to be effective in the things that you do? Brothers and sisters, don't ever lose that accent. Kung palagay mo na wala yung anointing na yan, ask God, repent, do the first works. Panginoon, I don't want to lose that. Bagat naalala ko those good old days, when I had that, Ilang swing lang bumabagsak yung kahoy. Pero ngayon, Lord, hampas na ako ng hampas. Walang nangyayari. Hindi bumabagsak. Because what you just have is the axe handle. Mga kapatid, we need the axe handle plus the axe head. We need the mechanics and the dynamics together. Hindi lang yung marami kang alam sa salita ng Panginoon. Alam ko na ito. Alam ko na itong ministry ko. Alam ko na ito. Yung sinasabi ng Panginoon, alam ko itong position ko. Marahil alam mo. You all have the mechanics right. But brothers and sisters, it's not enough. You need the dynamics. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the leadership of the dove. Lord, I want your leadership. Bakit naranasan ko, Lord, na marami akong oras na nasayang because we are, I am doing things out of my human ability without the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Pero nakita ko, Panginoong Diyos, kapag nandyan yung leadership ng Holy Spirit, Amen, kahit nakita ko ang aking insufficiency, nakita ko ang aking weakness, nakikita ko, nagpa-prosper yung ministry, nagpa-prosper yung pinapagawa mo sa atin, pagkat alam ko, it's not by my own might, it's not by my own power, but by the Spirit, say it, the Lord. That is what we want, brothers and sisters. Amen. May the Lord restore the accent. If there's anyone sitting here that you have felt, Lord, I, may, I might be ministering in my post of duty, but I think the power for service is not there. I think the anointing is not there. Lord, restore it back. Mary, maybe, maybe in your life, in your marriage life, whatever you're building, Brothers and sisters, when you are building something apart from the Lord, all things would be in vain. Whether it's the house of God, whether it's your, it's your marriage life, whatever it is, brothers and sisters, we need the axe head. We need the axe head. Amen. We need the axe head. And this is the age of restoration, that whatever which was lost would be restored back. I don't want to get too long, brothers and sisters. Dahil meron pa tayong pupuntahan na funeral service. But I think that you catch my point. Amen. Amen. I'm showing you the importance of this axe head in our own personal life. That is your cutting edge of power. That is your effectiveness. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Tayo po lahat ay tumayo. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, more things can be said, Lord, but Lord, uh, I have to cut it short. But I know, Lord, that the message ay nakatch ng iyong mga anak, Panginoong Diyos. Lord, if there's anyone here that may have lost his first love or her first love, or maybe that joy he had, Panginoon, at the, at the beginning of his Christian walk, 
Whatever that was lost, Father, I know that you could restore. Lord, we need the leadership of the Spirit. We don't just want a ministry. We want an anointed ministry. We want to be effective in what we do. Lord, that whenever we go, we know that the angel of the Lord is leading us. May we not grieve the Holy Spirit in our life, Lord, by disobeying your word, by going away from your, from your will in our life. Lord, may we walk in full submission to your word, Father. Tulungan mong bawat isa, Panginoong Diyos. Nawa, Panginoon, na ang bawat isa sa amin, Lord, ay nandyan ang anointing that we need for service. Ang leadership, Panginoon, ng Espiritu Santo sa buhay namin. Hindi lamang, Panginoon, whenever we are at church, Lord, in our daily life, we need the leadership of the Spirit. Even in our family decisions, sometimes, Lord, we make many wrong decisions that did not only affect us, but it also affected our family because we lost the leadership of the Spirit. I believe, Lord, that the Spirit, Lord, is concerned not just in spiritual things of our life, but even the natural things of our life, Lord. Lord, we want to be led by you. Thou art our Jehovah Rea. Thou art our great shepherd. May you lead your children. May you bless them, Father. Lord, this we ask. In your mighty name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father Dave, we'll just